Hi everybody, um, like my new backdrop, uh, it's just a sheet and the old one is underneath because I need to use that for taking pictures um, because I need to list, 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 yeah, I know. Anyway, I'm coming to you with another mini thrift haul. I mean, it might be a bunch of stuff to some people, but let's get started first show off these cute little earrings. Cleaned them up nicely, they don't bother me, and I can sleep in them because they have the sleeper back. And, alright. This I was excited about because of the vintage sheet. Um, everybody sells vintage sheets and they do pretty well, or people buy vintage sheets. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so look what I found. It's a twin sheet, and it's the Ghostbusters. So there's two scenes, uh, well one scene but twice. So the Ghostbusters, and then the city scene, and the year that it came out, the sheet came out, and then there's the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. So that is actually going for $90 and up if you can um, get the right buyer. I'll just show you this cute little reindeer bag that I got. When I go to the pound place uh, I usually end up picking up a, a reusable shopping bag just to help with my purchases as well. Um, I found a nice snapback, the original six. So Boston, Toronto Maple Leafs, uh, Canadians, yeah, you know. Uh, so it's old time hockey. Cat is in the bag now. <laughs> Get out! Get! Alright. I got myself just an em empty journal. Yep, the pages are ripped, obviously, but it's still got a bunch of pages. I just liked the cover and a tie. No idea if that'll sell, but it is... Oh, where'd it go? Yes. Milano Polyfiore, and it's 100% silk. The original price is $50. That doesn't mean anything, but gotta try some stuff, right? Okay. I found cute Buster Brown pajamas. Pretty good shape. Uh, little girls. I mean, you could put your little boy in pink if you wanted to. Cute little elephants. And a simple belt just for me. Green white. Um, I found this Cirque du Soleil purse again. Another Cirque du Soleil. I don't think this will sell as well as the other one, but I don't know. Um, this was actually at a thrift store for five bucks. The handle is a little weird, so I'm not sure. But it's really cute inside. Okay. And then I found this vintage purse. I'm going to like brush it off a little bit so it's a little cleaner looking. Um, but yeah, it's uh, got a mirror in the front. And then snap it open. Came with a piece of dish paper. Yay! It's got a cute little coin purse. And the brand is Tarkor. Tarkor bag. Sure. Still clasped nicely, but I don't know if anybody's going to buy it because uh, it does look a little faded. And I found myself a cute little, little sport sack. I think this is one of the Tokidoki ones. Hopefully. Uh, yeah, it doesn't actually have its uh, wristlet strap on it. This is just a cute crossbody bag by Maggie B. Never heard of that brand. I'm branching out. I also have to seriously work on my listing, which is why I did the dance, but we'll figure it out. This is a Veneto purse. 
dark brownish with a red tinge. Nice number of pockets. Most of the stuff is from the outlet. Uh, I brought another friend there and she uh, found a few things for herself. Um, this is another purse from the brand Sparrow True, which I showed in my previous video. Uh, yeah. Nice looking purse. This pocket is not actually a pocket, you know, just a little detail. Then I found this cute thing. It's just a little jacket, right? It's kind of itchy, but uh, heavily beaded, and it's really pretty. A nice shade. I'll keep that on though. So yeah, it's just uh, doesn't have any buttons up the front. And I found two of these books. Uh, it's got uh, all the painters in it. I mainly wanted this to, uh, you know, gasp, cut up, and frame some of the prints. So one has Picasso and Miro and Ernst and stuff. The other one has um, excuse me, Matisse, Mondrian, Marquette, Klee, and that's fine. Okay, and just a cute little pencil case. Maybe I can fit my makeup brushes in there. I'm not sure. It's uh. Nietzsche? Nikki? I don't know. I found this also. Briar Rabbit. It's a Disney uh, cup from with the uh, Coca-Cola for hot and cold beverages or soup. And me, I found a pair of Merrill boots. Pretty good condition. They were originally charging $15, but I found them at the outlet, so they were a dollar. And this is for myself. Yes, it is a onesie. Oh, you bet. I love her print onesie for me, because winter here lasts eight months. Alright, I also found uh, two leather jackets. This is Town by London Fog. Um, it says made in Canada, and I didn't know that the London Fogs were made in Canada that I was aware of, but it's got a nice interior. It's definitely old, but it's in really good shape. But, uh, yeah, it's like a winter-type jacket. It's not just a uh, regular jacket. And this is the other leather jacket that I found. It's just Canada leather wear. And it's, uh, just like a bomber-type jacket. It's small. I can, like, sort of zip it up, but I wouldn't be able to actually wear it myself. And I found a pair of, uh, where was the name? Yes. Kelly Hansen Snow Pants. They are in great shape and they were at the outlet. I've been doing pretty good with jackets and stuff. If only I would actually list them. Such is the life when you choose to resell stuff. And, uh, you know, doesn't quite work because you don't put enough effort in. So, I need to get up my effort and I will make myself a success. Anyway, sorry if I'm not in like a chirpy chirp mood. I'm just, uh, having a little few down days. But that's okay. Then my attitude goes back up. Alright. See you next time, guys. Mwah.